So hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would do a Q&A. So a couple of days ago on my Instagram, I asked you all to send in um, all your questions. Um, so I've picked random, there's about 20 to 30 questions and um, we're just going to dive right in. So I don't know if this video is going to look slightly different today because I just went to film on my camera and it seems like my batteries broke um fully charged it but then it's going off and the camera's saying charge battery so i'm guessing the cam the battery has broke so i need to purchase a new battery so until that time i will be using my phone um but we'll just roll with it um so i've got my cup of tea so grab a cup of yourself um get all cozy it's a really cold one today out it's about four or five degrees i think when i took atticus to school um but yeah we're all cozy so um let's get straight into it Okay, first question. How has it been starting YouTube? Um, truth, I wish I'd started it years ago. Um, everyone always said to me, Julie, start YouTube. Why are you not starting YouTube? You know, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, no, no, it just doesn't appeal. And something always stopped me. Um, I don't know what, but something always stopped me. And then um, I think I've said before, just one day something clicked. And it was like, yeah, do it, Julie, do it. You know, what you got to lose. And um, yeah, and I'm really really enjoying it um i like just doing my own content um being creative um you know with what i want to do um you know that freedom of creativity is is really really nice so yeah thumbs up for youtube okay next question do you have anyone that you look up to slash inspire inspires me um good question um there is not particular one in mind but I would say any strong women completely um, inspire me. Um, and strength can take different forms, I think. Um, if we're talking about famous women, um, JK Rowling, um, always. I always, um, I've even told Atticus the story of her because I think it's such an inspirational story that, you know, at the beginning she was basically a single mother, um, uh, you know, hardly any money and now all these years on through an idea coming into her head of a wizard a little boy wizard um you know it's like wow so i think that's a truly inspirational story so if anyone um does come into my mind it would be her jk rowling next one is anna coming home for christmas yes anna is coming home for christmas um i think as far as i know i think she's coming home a couple of days before my birthday which is on the 22nd so i think she's coming home like around the 20th um yeah so she's spending some time at home over christmas which will be lovely um, next question how's atticus doing in school atticus is doing great in school um i am so pleased with his progress um this year um, he's in year three, um, new teacher, obviously, um, you know, first year of junior and he is doing so, so well. He's happy to go every day, um, which I think is a great sign. Um, so, yeah, really, really pleased with how he's doing. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. Next one. Would you ever get a pet? Now, this is a good question. OK. I keep thinking about a dog. So the thought comes in my head, then it goes, then it comes again. And I see people walking their dogs because obviously we live right next to a park. And, you know, I think, oh, I'd love that. And then then I think, no, because it is such a huge commitment. And I'm one of them, I believe, you know, if you're going to have a dog, you've got to be 100% committed or don't bother. And um, But can I see myself possibly, possibly in the future, a dog I think I really like the little sausage dogs and um I really like pugs but it's not nowhere in the near future but I would say it's definitely a possibility in the far future yeah dogs are really cute um okay next one interesting would you ever get Botox now I think if you'd have asked me this question about a year ago or something I would have said yeah for sure give me all the Botox Today, now, I'm going to say, actually, no, um, I'm going to say I turn 47 in exactly a month's time. It's the 22nd of November today. So I turn 47 on the 22nd of December. And no, I really don't think I would. Um, 
I'm happy with how I am, I'm happy. Yeah, you know, there's things we'd write, you know, I'll probably have a, you know, a few less lines here and there and all, you know, different bits. But ultimately, I am happy with how I am. So I would say actually no to Botox. Although, you know, fair play to anyone that does go down that route, of course, you know, each to their own. Um, I'm a great believer in not judging and, you know, live and let live. Um, but for me personally, no Botox. Okay. What are your plans for Christmas this year? Right, plans are for staying at home. Um, Anna's coming, obviously. Um, we'll have my mum over at some point. Um, we'll go over there. Um, always do the sales on Boxing Day. Um, yeah, the plans for this Christmas are the same as other years. Um, I did look, I did toy with the idea of going, I was looking at like places like Butlins and that, because I remember we took Anastasia to Butlins when she was younger for Christmas and we took the mini Christmas tree in the car and we took some of her presents and it was really nice. And it was really nice to have Christmas dinner cooked as well. Um, I did toy with that idea, but I thought, no, okay, we'll stay at home. So we are completely staying at home this year, having family round, going round families and um, yeah, be lovely. Okay, what is your favourite song? My favourite song is now it's not a hugely this comes into my mind straight away because i know it's not a hugely popular song but i think a lot of you might have heard of it it was out years and years ago and i'm gonna say literally probably 20 years ago it's by a singer called jennifer brown and it's called alive um obviously if you put it into spotify jennifer brown alive it'll come up and i just love um the melody of it i love the words the words resonate with me so so much and i loved it back then and it is still my favorite song now so it's a real like soul um soul connection with that song really really like that song okay this one are you diagnosed with ocd if so how does it affect your life on a daily um yes i was diagnosed with ocd a long long time ago um and it is something that is completely natural to me in my in my daily life that I never think oh this is OCD this is OCD because it's the way that I am so I would say I was diagnosed with it over 25 years ago which is a long time um it probably manifests itself in different ways in that for me everything does have to be done a certain way um I don't think it's so much a control issue. I just like things done in certain ways so I know that it's done properly. Um, I know it can't always be like that because you do have to let people, you know, take the reins sometimes. And and I think as I've got older, I have learned to let go slightly. Um, it, yeah, it's just different things, different things. It's a very mental thing. It's all, it's all... It's all mental in that how you do things, um, have to do things a certain way. Um, yeah, it does, it does impact my life daily, but I've lived with it for so long that it's second nature, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my answer to that one. Okay, favourite makeup product. Um, I think that would probably be my eyebrow product because it gives me eyebrows. <laughs> um, I do have a lack of eyebrows with no makeup, but I do like the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. It's the best brow product I've used. Um, easy to apply and, um, oh, I've got the sun coming in again. It's really bright, actually. Um, yeah, so I would recommend that, and that is my favourite makeup product. Okay, this one was a very, very, very um, popular question. Is Instagram and YouTube your main job? Yes, it is is my main job. Um, I'm very lucky in that I'm able to, you know, make a living from um, doing the both. And um, yeah, it is my main job. And it's great because it works around Atticus. And um, yeah, right, what are my hobbies? Okay, when I do have time, my hobbies are, I love to read, as you know, um, I like to get into a good TV series. Um, I like a spot of yoga. I did used to do more running. Um, haven't done running for ages, but I do need to probably get back into that. I keep thinking about that. But I'd say a little bit of yoga, um, reading and TV series. And I like a nice walk and that as well. Okay, next one. Would you like more children? <laughs> Not now. Um, 
definitely my answer would be no no more children now like i said i'm 47 in a month's time and i think that um ship has well and truly sailed now but i'm very blessed to have two healthy children and um yeah i think my time for all of that is is gone right who was heavier when they were born ah okay anna was heavier anna was seven pound two and atticus was six pound twelve so anastasia was that bit heavier Okay, next question. My favourite thing about Christmas. I'm going to say my favourite thing about Christmas. I think it's the whole, the whole atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere everywhere does change. And I just like that Christmassy feeling atmosphere. It's not necessarily, you know, it, it's not about the presents. It's not about, um, it's not about any of that, really. It, it's the spirit of Christmas. And I think that would be my favourite thing about Christmas. I'm going to have another sip of my tea now. Right, I'm just, in the back of my mind, I'm just getting, I've got to buy a new ca um, camera battery, got to buy a new camera battery. Can't believe it. Anyway, we move. Right, any goals for 2022? Um, I think <clears throat> it would be to grow my YouTube channel. Um, that would be amazing. Um, but that is completely and utterly down to me. Um, it's only me that can do that. And I think, um, yeah, that would be my goal for 2022. What's my fave candle? Ah, good question. What's my favourite candle? Um, my two favourite brands are Yankee Candle and Woodwick. Even though I'm burning a Yankee Candle right now, um, Spiced Orange, I'm going to say my favourite is going to have to be Woodwick because the throw on it is really, really strong and obviously the crackle as it burns is, is really good, especially for this time of year. So I am gonna actually say Woodwick. Right, when are you starting to decorate for Christmas? Ah, oh, we were only talking about this yesterday. So today is the 22nd and Atticus would like me to do it next weekend. Now, normally, other years, I would have done it all by now. But there's something this year just saying to me, no, just, just wait until December the 1st. Because I think really, you know, each to their own again. If people have put their tree up already, go for it. If it makes you happy, go for it. But I think for me this year, I just wanted December to be about Christmas, just Advent. And um, so I think the 1st is next Wednesday. So I think we're going to put it up um, next Tuesday. So it's up for the 1st, I think might find they go up earlier but i will do um a christmas decoration house tour not a decorate with me i'm not going to film myself putting it all up but i will do when it's all up a house tour showing you it all so yeah that'll be good ah this is good will you move into anna's old room yeah so next year actually yes i am moving into anna's old room um i'm not going to do it all this year but next year we're going to swap around so i'm going to move into the main bedroom atticus will move into mine and then um atticus's room as it is now will be like a office space so that is the plan for next year it's quite a bit to do with it um you know um <clears throat> but new furniture will need new furniture lots of sorting out to do because that's where was just become a dumping ground um but yeah we're going to do that next year so yeah next question android or apple again if you'd have asked me this a few months ago i would have said android all the way i was done with apple but no because when i lost my phone and um, when i left it on the roof of my car um i changed over to apple which was a complete complete kerfuffle is that even a word? It was such a stress because going from Android to Apple, um, you can't just transfer your apps. And that's a whole different, um, you know, different platform. I'm getting pins and needles. Whole different um, platform, completely different. Um, but now I've done, um, I'm going to say Apple all the way. Converted back to Apple. Yeah. Okay, next one. Will you be doing a decorate with me for Christmas? I ah, already answered that. So I'm going to do a um, house tour um, of the decorations when they're up, but not a decorate with me, if that makes sense. Right, my fave clothing place, my favourite place to buy clothes. Um, this is really quite tricky, actually, um, because I just shop around completely. 
I do like ASOS, but the trouble is with ASOS, it's like you just can't see it. Um, you know, you're buying on a, you know, you're buying on the chance that it will be okay. But I do like ASOS. Um, High Street, I'm gonna say um, I like H and M, um, like a bit of Primark. Um, yeah, I miss Topshop, but you can get Topshop on ASOS. But yeah, I'd say ASOS is my favourite clothing place. Then I would say on the high street, it would be H&M and Primark, I think. Right, have you ever watched the guy on TikTok who pretends to be you? Yes, I have. I think his name, shout out to him. I'll give him a shout. I think, it, is it Tom Likes Food or something? And he does his impressions of me and that. And I think he's really good, actually. Yeah, I have watched him. Um, really, really funny. Um, yeah, yeah, I have watched him. Okay, I think this is the final question. I think this is about 15 minutes long, this video, so that's fine. So, would I move to Manchester? Um, I have this in various different ways. Would I move to Manchester, Manchester to be closer to Anna? Um, would I move to Manchester, blah, blah? Um, no, I wouldn't move to Manchester um, for a few reasons. Mainly, Atticus is settled at school here. Um, I'm settled here. I've lived in Northamptonshire really my whole life. Um, and I, you know, no, it's not, not on the books to move to Manchester at all. Um, no. So yeah, that, that's the questions. I hope I've answered. I tried to pick, there were so many and I tried to pick out random, you know, thought it'd be just nice to have a little chat, little, um, little sort of catch up, find out a bit more about me. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, lots of Christmas content going to come up. I'm really looking forward to filming them. Um, so yeah, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.